What is up, everybody? Retro Rewind with Sean, my retro gaming podcast. How is everybody doing today? Today, I wanted to dedicate this episode to Atari. Specifically, the new Atari that is coming out, that has been coming out for, let's be honest, for years. Um, This thing... This thing has been in the works forever. And I get I get asked a lot, especially with this podcast. I get asked, Sean, how come you haven't been talking about this damn thing? And there really hasn't been a lot to talk about up until recently. There has been updates. Believe me, I've been following this damn thing since it was called the Atari Box. Remember that? But it's called the Atari VCS or the Atari VCS 800. It's the hybrid gaming PC system that was, I don't want to say Kickstarter, but it was, what was that, that Indie Indiegogo backers program that got like $3 million in backers. And the thing just went missing in action for years. But they constantly keep saying, no, no, no. Atari keeps saying, it's coming. It's coming. The new Atari is coming. Well, long and short of it, they're aiming for a release this fall. As a matter of fact, Walmart and GameStop actually took pre-orders. (laughs) Now, I've been following this thing like crazy. I am I've been following this thing like crazy. And it just it seems like it keeps getting crazier. And what I mean is is that man, if you are highly anticipating this this console and and I am being an Atari fan and just a console collector in general, collecting them all. I mean we have the um and television Amico coming out soon and I'll actually Dedicate an episode just on that. And there's another little handheld that I've been actually keeping an eye on for a while. Um, that handheld with the crank, um, the the play date with the monochrome monochromatic screen. I'll talk about that some other time. A lot of stuff, a lot of retro consoles coming out. I find it funny. They're all coming out the same year. Along with the Xbox One, the Xbox Series X and the PS5, which I think is a stupid mistake because they're going to dominate the market, let's be honest. I mean, Atari, really? The fall? You're really shooting yourself in the foot there. You're shooting yourself in the head, if it even comes out. Because as you dig deeper into the rabbit hole, you find out really weird, shady things going on. Like... I don't know. There's a group of people out there that swear this thing is not coming out in the fall. There's a group of people out there that swear this thing is not coming out at all. I don't know about that, but (laughs) they have strong belief. And And as you read these articles, it's really strange. Like, what do they have, like a production update that, oh, look at this. We actually have the consoles on a pallet here. They have like an actual pallet. A wooden pallet, 96 consoles, 96 consoles are made so far. Okay? None of them passed, like, quality control. There there was, like, I was reading this spec sheet where they showed you, like, wood imperfections and it's it, it just ridiculous, like, this is really coming out in the fall, and you got 96 consoles made, and you're like, none of them passed any inspections? Something don't sound right. There's been no, aside from, like, demonstrations from the company, there's been no dev kits or any leaks of YouTubers using this machine. I mean, like, remember with the Evercade, how you big YouTubers had it months and months before? I don't know, something weird going on, but I've been on their Twitter feed a lot reading. I've been reading a lot of the responses. 
I've been reading a lot of articles on this. Very strange. Let's um let's see what we got. Here's a CNET article. Atari VCS 800 heads to pre-order at GameStop and Walmart. The latest Atari box is seemingly nearing a release. After first being revealed in 2018 and subsequently hit with delays, the Atari VCS 800 bundle has hit Walmart and GameStop and is available for pre-order. Here's another thing. $390. That's an awful lot of money for what you're getting here. Walmart lists the shipping date as of November 27th with the official Atari Store, that's what this machine will run on, the Atari Store. It's an old digital console, by the way. Stating the expected release date for the box is December 14th. Then you're going to hear another date from Atari themselves. Um, they're offering a $10 discount for pre-orders with the system price at $380 from them. Powered by 8 gigabytes of the AMD Raven Ridge. Allows for playing classic Atari games on modern big screens. The VCS 800 bundle includes 100 free Atari classic console and arcade games, as well as a wireless joystick and a traditional controller in the box, both wireless, with additional games being available through their online store. Again, all digital. Beyond playing games, you can upgrade the RAM or install different operating systems. So this thing is going to have a thing called PC mode. You can install Windows, Linux, or Steam OS or Chrome OS to turn it into an actual PC. Kind of like those Steam boxes. Remember them? Videos can be streamed at 4K, 60 frames per second. Uh, through streaming services like YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, Disney+. Plus, We've seen it on their website in action. So much like any other system offers. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.0 um, as our four USB 3.1 ports. There is 32 gigabyte of built-in storage, though more can be added through USB. The Atari VCS 800 was offered on Indiegogo. The campaign for the video game box attracted 11,500 backers and raised over $3 million. <clears throat> Okay. And then you go on their site. Atari's new PC console hybrid, an icon reimagined. Blending the best of consoles and PCs, PCs to delight a whole new generation of gamers and creators. Play. Discover new and classic games on Atari's new open platform powered by an AMD Risen with Radeon graphic technology. Stream. Watch your favorite web-based streaming videos up to 4K resolution. Create. Develop new TV-based games and apps for yourself, your family, or to share. Connect. Atari's first connected device opens new publishers to play with friends and publish your creations as part of an expansive community of gamers and fans and devs. Built for today, USB 3.0 Wi-Fi, Ethernet. The complete package, you get the VCS 800 system, you get the Atari Classic Joystick Wireless, and you get the Atari Modern Controller Wireless. You get access to the Atari Volt, which features more than 100 home and arcade classics. Atari World. It is a Linux-based operating system that the system runs off of, but... You can also use Atari PC mode and install any operating system. Interesting. Pre-order the Atari VCS 800, the Black Walnut, all in bundle, 389. There's also the Carbon Gold. 
and the onyx and the classic black walnut. 389, so you'd save ten dollars. Big whoop, right? Ridiculous, I think. That's that's a that's a hefty price, man, for this kind of system, especially when you have the next gen systems coming out around the same time. Uh, I, I don't know, man. The marketing team definitely should have their head examined, in my opinion. Let's read some feedback. This is just a, a taste of feedback. July is your last chance to order the Atari VCS 808GB all-in bundle. At a special early adopter pricing, $10 off. Order now and receive free shipping and guaranteed delivery by December 24th. What they don't tell you is December 24th of what year. <laughs> This VCS would be a great addition for collectors and museum owners. <laughs> this is the most obscure price for this type of system I've ever seen. Hard pass. Order now. <laughs> you can obtain your VCS in 2024. Of Saturn Planet. Last chance for a dev kit too? Wow, I had the idea that you had been already porting plutonium pirates for the vcs out of my complete ignorance weren't devs supposed to get some of the five hun oh 96 units for dev purposes <laughs> wait oh how much oh hell no see what i'm saying last chance for what ps5 and xbox series x challengers laugh out loud see what i'm saying guys it's like why would you do this? I mean, not saying anything against the system, but your timing is fucking off, and your pricing is off. And I, I don't know. I don't know. There's no way they have only 96 made. Something, and, and they're expecting this to be released in November or December. Something don't seem right. Something don't seem right. This is like the... This is like the white unicorn of video gaming, the ch Chinese democracy of music albums. Remember that? Guns N' Roses. The Duke Nukem Forever of video games. Something is definitely fishy. Um, now, I'm, I guess the Intellivision, Amico, is still on, on schedule for October 10th. That's up in the air also with the COVID-19 and all that. That is better priced. It's still not exactly where I would like that to be. And this other thing I was talking about before the play date, I think that's like, what, 150 Uh Then you look at the Evercade, and it's like, what an amazing machine. It's like 100 bucks. I don't know. Um, this is definitely the retro console war. At the same time, you have the next gen coming out i i just think that i don't know i don't know i really don't know um strange marketing but it's like you're gonna put 380 dollars down and you don't even know if you're gonna if this is even gonna come to light this year atari seems to think so but of course they would want you to think that right They would want you to think that. Because they have to get your pre-order money. Meanwhile, I have a feeling very soon you're going to be pre-ordering the Xbox Series X and the PS5. That's going to be hitting soon, pre-orders. And then you're going to be dropping 380 390 for this? Are you? I think it's a niche market. They're going to have their audience for sure. They're going to have their backers for sure. But, you know, could this be a thing to wait on? And a few months later, it drastically drops in price? I think so. Um, I think so. With the next-gen consoles coming out around the same time, with the high price of this system, um, with what, you know, 
with the marketing of the system. We still don't really know a lot. Oh, and, and uh, there's also third party. I saw I saw Celeste running on this. I saw Warzone, Call of Duty running on this, and I saw Borderlands. I don't know. From what I saw, it looked a little choppy. Um, by the time this comes out, you're probably already looking at another chipset already out. I don't know, it seems very strange. But, you know, it's going to have its audience. It's definitely not going to be the mass market. Um, hmm. Yeah. An interesting system. I mean, it's got a lot of things that are, like I said, interesting. Um, I just don't know. The Atari Vault seems cool, but then again, you could get access to that on a lot of things. It's just the price is just unreal. The price is really high. Because they're basically telling you, well, this could be turned into a PC. Oh, yeah? Hmm. We'll see. I'd like to see one of these things in action. Like from an actual reviewer. Hopefully we'll find out some more information on this. Um, it looks cool. It reminds me of like the 2600. It's definitely got that retro vibe of the walnut grain. Here's that. Here. Here. Here it is. The pallet. They're saying that the 96 units are in. Let's see what people say. One of those better be mine. I think Spawn Wave Media would like to see one. Yeah, how about Mary and J08? How about a real retro guy? I like to get my hands on one of those bad boys. I'll, I'll put it through the ringer. All right, guys. That's all I have right now uh, as far as the Atari VCS 800. I will definitely be doing some updates on this. We're going to talk about the Intellivision Amico uh, in the... Um, in the future, I want to talk about that and a couple other little consoles that are coming out. You definitely want to check out my next-gen console countdown, which is a, um, a series that I do on here dedicated to the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. Um, check out another series on here called Murray Chat. It's all up-to-date up to news on gaming and other, other, other forms of entertainment. And uh, come right back here for your retro goodness and retro news and everything else in between. Okay, guys? Take care, and I'll be seeing you on the next episode. Bye-bye now. Stay safe. Be well.